everyone and welcome to another video from Colour with Claire. So I've made a little series that I've just started by showing you how to colour different flowers and the first one that I did is the orchid which you'll have already seen. Second up I'm going to show you how I colour these lily petals. I believe they're lilies, I think they might even be tiger lilies. To be honest I'm not really sure, I don't really know a lot about flowers but uh, however I've just looked at reference photos online and I've decided to create them in this kind of reddish orange palette and really I just did it because I thought it would nicely complement her lip colour um, but I don't know if these exist, if they look like this, if, if they're this type of colour, I don't know. It's quite effective anyway so I thought you'd just like to learn the technique of how I shape the leaves so to speak. So today on this particular tutorial I'm using Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils in number 061 and 030 um, you don't have to use luminance if you don't have them, just get a red and an orange. And I'm also using three different shades of red Posca pens. So I'm using the red wine, the dark red and the just plain red. If you don't have Posca pens, you can use paint, you can use gel pens, pretty much anything you've got that's going to go over pencil and, and show up as these little dots do. So I'm going to zoom in. Now, unfortunately, I just noticed before I started uh, filming that I've coloured in already all of the completely straight petals. So I can't really show you one that's straight dead on, but this one kind of is. So I'll do a couple anyway, and you'll get the gist. It's really, really easy to do. So with your red colour, which is in this instance, permanent red 061, we're going to start from the bottom of the petal and we're going to create a line. So the line is kind of already there, the artist has drawn it in anyway, uh, but as long as you've got that line, and then we're going to use flicking motions, same as you would if you were colouring hair, flicking motions upward from the bottom, curving, so like this, curving up toward the top of that line that you've just done, and it tapers, so it's going to be thicker down here at the bottom, but with your curve, as you go upward, it's going to taper like that. And it's going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. It might be easier for you to turn your book around so that you've got the same motion. I'm going to keep it where it is so that you can see what I'm doing. But again, so we're going to curve and taper. Now you can bring out the bottom here because this petal is quite, um, it's got quite a large area here. So I'm going to bring up this side as well. it's almost a curve it's almost a perfect curve and just bring up this side a little bit as well so it's almost like you're making like a W shape so when you've done that with your red the same pencil we're starting at the tip of the petal now and we're bringing the line down almost touching and then doing exactly the same thing. So bringing up your tiny strokes so that they meet at the top of that line. And then at the edges, you can bring them down. So it's almost as if, if you were going to bring the two together, that they would slot in. So we've got this curve here that's dipped but we're going to extend that bit so it looks like they would slot together. Hopefully that makes sense. Same this side. And you can, in fact, you can see here what I'm saying. So on this petal I've already done, you can see how they would just be, just with a little nudge, they would actually meet up and perfectly jigsaw together. That's kind of what I'm going for. You know me, I can't really describe things very well, but that's what I'm going for. Now when you've done that, 
if you want to get your orange this is 030 called orange and just extend what you've done so you're not changing any of the shape you've laid down the shape you're just extending the lines a little bit Now we do not want them to meet in the middle as you can see this is rather a perfect one that I've done here I think it's probably the best of all of them this one um, so use that as your reference just extend the lines down but don't meet them so there is going to be a white section in the center which will act as your highlight So pencils nice and sharp so that you've got that lovely brushed effect. Now what you might want to do is just using your orange, I know we said don't meet, but just very, very lightly go over that white a little bit. As we did with the orchid on the previous video, we don't want it to be perfect stark white. We, we do want to just try and soften it slightly but we still want it to look like that's a perfect highlight in the center so i don't know it's difficult to describe but just using hardly any pressure just go over that white slightly hopefully that makes sense now you can go back to your red at this point if there's any areas that you want to redefine you could have it as smooth or as as liney as you want i quite like it with the line texture And when you've got the petals exactly how you would like them to look, that's when you can come in with your paint pens. And this is the fun bit. So I've chosen three different colours, a dark, a medium and a light red. Now with the red wine, which is the darkest of the Posca pens that I have, we're going to do some little dots. And we're going to start at the very bottom of the petal again. And we're going to do a quite a tight cluster of little separate dots. OK, but... We do want to make sure that they're kind of pointing and they're tapering up this line that we've created as well. So hopefully you'll be able to see that. I'll bring it to camera in a second, but we're doing the same thing at the tip of the petal too. Make sure that it's quite a tight cluster down here, but we're tapering up. Now I'm going to show you that closer just in case. So focus in. Can you see where I've put all the little Posca lines? You can see they're still wet. Posca dots rather. So there we have it. And then the next red, which is the dark red, we're going to sprinkle some dots in between the gaps of the wine red that we've just put down. But we're also at the same time extending it and it's not as tight of a cluster. So because this is a dark area, it's like when you're cross hatching or you're doing pointillism, you put your tightest clusters and your darkest areas where you want your shade. And that's what we're doing here but as we go up to the lighter we can sort of let them spread out a little bit more so what I mean is less dots basically less dots so less of a cluster and then kind of still following this line and then with your lightest red gel pen whatever it is you're using again you're just continuing and you can meet in the middle but do it in a jagged kind of fashion I don't want a line of dots that's <clears throat> completely straight so jagged fashion you can do a few little uh, dots there if you want to you can go in and put a few more darker ones really depends what yours looks like it's very dependent on that because it's not going to look exactly the same as mine but just keep adding dots and until you're happy that it looks like it gets lighter towards the centre. Okay, so that is it. It's super, super simple. I'll bring it up to camera again so you can see. Um, and that's basically how I've done all of these flat, all of these uh, petals on the lilies. And uh, yeah, it did. Some people might say it looks a little bit rough. You might want to smooth it out. It's totally up to you. But I really, really like. I don't know the shine on it and the texture so um let's do one more just to make sure we've got it down to pat let's do this one down here 
So again with my red pencil I'm creating that line and I'm making sure that all of my flicks which are wider at the bottom eventually curve toward the point of that line. So you can see that my pencil's getting a little bit duller because we haven't got as many individual lines there showing up. So I'll rectify that in a moment. I just keep twisting the pencil and you'll get your sharper edge. So again, we're bringing it up at the sides as well slightly, going right over the edge here, and then up at this side too. And then where, the, well, there's no tip here on this petal, but where you would imagine it to come from, you do the same thing again. Bring some flicks down that would slot in if we put them together. And then with your orange, just extend them out. So this is a technique you could use, obviously, with any colours you like. It doesn't have to be this kind of fire lily or whatever it is that I'm trying to create. Uh, it could be anything. It's it's And it's exactly the same technique that I use when I colour hair. So you can use it for that too. So when you've got them quite close together but not touching, I'm going to redefine those red strokes a little. That one's gone completely over, it's fine. Okay, and then very lightly with that orange going over it slightly just to just to dull out the shine a little bit I don't feel like they would shine that much I think they would have an, a satiny feel but I don't think that they would shine so something like that as I say it's not perfect it's quite rough and ready looking but I like it I hope you do too so again with the Posca dots I've not really got much of a tip there to play with, so I'll just do a little few at the end. And a few more here. And then the middle colour. Don't forget to intersperse them as well, so put some in between the gaps. Don't just, uh, you know, extend it. Can't go between the gaps so it looks... A little bit more um, organic, I guess. And then lightest red you can meet in the middle in a in a fashion. But it definitely should look thicker at both sides than meeting in a, in a in a thinner, narrower line. That's not a great example, to be fair, but. Anyhow, I think you've got the gist of it. So I <laughs> really, really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. It is part of a series that I'm going to be doing of all different flowers. So if you'd like to leave any suggestions in the comments uh, for flowers you want to see coloured, do let me know and I'll try my best to accommodate. So thank you very much. Please do click the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more colouring fun and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.